Hey guys, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel. So um, as you can guess by the title, today I'm going to be showing you some fragrances which remind me of fairies. Um, perfume sort of inspires me like in many many ways. It can either remind me of like a place, a person, it can paint a picture in my mind of a certain scene or like a piece of artwork, things like that. Um, that is the sort of connection that I feel to fragrance sometimes and there are a few in my collection which actually to me smell like fairies. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more perfume videos. So first up on my list is La Nuit Trésor Eau de Toilette version. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance. It just honestly lifts my mood every single time I wear it. It's kind of like a much lighter and easier to wear version of the original La Nuit Trésor. So this is a very kind of berry, um, it's got lots of raspberry, blackberry, it's got vanilla, it's very very sweet. It's got your rose and your peony in there as well with some fruity lychee. Um, so, oh, it's just, it's so nice. I love this one. I really do. Um, it's very sweet, but it's not sickly sweet to me. Um, it's just extremely feminine. It's sort of, it makes you feel beautiful. It's just so girly, feminine and beautiful. Sweet, kind of fruity, floral. Sort of like if you imagine the original Lanry Trezor and you remove all the heavy bass notes and you're left with kind of just the, the top and the heart notes, you almost get this um basically so that's sort of what this one smells like um it's just absolutely wonderful and the bottle is simply stunning and um, this is extremely disney uh and fairy worthy i think it just reminds me of sort of like a disney princess um or like a group of fairies that type of thing it's just enchanting sweet and beautiful Next up is a fragrance that I am kind of like so blown away by and that is Lolita Lempica Mon Premier Parfum. Now this is so unusual to me. This has notes of cherry, ivy, licorice, star anise. Um, it's extremely different. And this to me it smells just exactly like an enchanted forest so all of the sort of enchanted creatures that live there and then um the ivy as well which provides that green note um just you know again paints a picture of like the surrounding trees so you've got all the sweet notes in there like your kind of the cherry everything like that and then the ivy surrounds that and it just it really it's so multi-layered and it just paints a picture of just a Disney sort of enchanted forest to me and I absolutely love this one. I think because the sweet notes with the licorice and violet in here as well it makes it almost slightly melancholic, slightly different. It's not your typical kind of like it's not got the same mood as say this one here. This one is a bit more subtle, it's a bit more um, a bit deeper, a bit more kind of emotive and to me, it's very fairy-like for sure. So that is Lolita Lempica Mon Premier Parfum. Next up is Versace Eros Pour Femme Eau de Toilette version. Um, this is a very sweet, sort of citrusy scent. Um, there's some musk in the base notes, but I can't really smell that. To me, it's really just quite a light, sweet, citrusy smell. Um, I remember... Emmy Ever After did a review of this one and she mentioned that it smells like gummy bears and I have to just agree like it really does actually smell like some sort of gummy sweet um it's got that kind of that that sweetness about it even though it has lots of citruses in here it's not sharp at all it's just like a really yeah like gummy bears essentially <laughs> And this one is just, again, it's so kind of happy-go-lucky. It's like a very light, sweet fragrance. Uh, this one actually kind of reminds me of Tinkerbell. Uh, it's just lovely. It's a lovely light fragrance, perfect for spring and summer. So that is Eros Pour Femme Eau de Toilette version. Um, next up is Ariana Grande Cloud. This one here, I really like this one. It's my one of my favourite fragrances to wear to bed, actually. So this is a whipped cream, coconut cream type of scent with some lavender 
and um, I think it's got some bergamot in here as well to give it a kind of sparkly opening and um, but then it dries down to like a coconut whipped cream type of smell which is just beautiful it's slightly plasticky in the smell itself but that doesn't bother me it's actually quite nice um, if any of you have actually smelled this you'll probably know maybe what I mean it's kind of hard to put my finger on it and to describe it but it's almost got this slightly like plastic smell to it as well um, overall it's a beautiful scent it just reminds me of a fairy having a nap on a cloud and it's just beautiful sweet addictive kind of easy reach for when you're just in the house when you want to wear it to bed or even if you just want to wear it out it's quite versatile this scent to be honest um, I really enjoy this one I think the smell as well as the packaging reminds me of like a cartoon um, so again very Disney uh, very kind of cartoonish and fairy like that is Ariana Grande Cloud and um, last but not least is the beautiful Insolence Eau de Toilette version now I have fallen head over heels for this fragrance I'm not even gonna lie like um, this was a blind buy for me so I was a little bit worried as to whether I'd like it or not because I'd previously tried the Eau de Parfum version of this fragrance and I really wasn't a fan. Um, the Eau de Parfum I found it to be too dry a powder and too kind of just powder and violet to me but um, I wanted to give this one a try because it had the addition of orange blossom and I'd heard that it was a bit less um, dry of a powder and things like that and what a great decision that was because I absolutely love this fragrance. The YouTuber Gabriella Francesca, she did a review of this one and she said that it literally reminded her of being in a kind of fairy forest and like being surrounded by fairies, that kind of thing and I totally, totally agree. This to me is the epitome of just what fairies would smell like. This is a sweet um, candied violet smell um, and it's quite, it's almost like a fruity floral vibe as well. It's got your orange blossom, your red berries. It's so, so feminine and beautiful and it really just, it honestly paints a picture of um, fairies. This is to me what a fairy would smell like, if I'm being honest. And um, it's so good for lasting. I mean, I really, I, th I sort of thought, oh, with it being an eau de toilette, would it maybe not, you know perform that well but this is so good for lasting I, I can't even believe it and um, I wore it to work one day and by the end of the day I could still smell it really well um so it actually went beyond what I thought it would do you know because with an eau de toilette I don't typically expect them to last that long but this was amazing um I love the scent so much I'm obsessed and it's just so enchanting it's just it's so uplifting and sweet and beautiful and I feel like you could just wear this anywhere. I've been wearing it a lot recently whether that's to work, around the house or just out kind of doing some shopping. It's just such an easy reach. It's so so beautiful and addictive as well. Like I can't stop wearing this one. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so that is Insolence Eau de Toilette by Guerlain. So there we have it, my fairy fragrances. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more perfume content. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.